Leave it 5 one turn right heading 183. Papa, turn right 245, report established. The Airbus A380 Plus, an aircraft type that excited many when it was first revealed to the general public back in 2017. The state-of-the-art quad jet was unveiled on the 18th of June in 2017 at the Paris Air Show and boasted a brand new wing design that was specifically built to improve the aerodynamics of the aircraft and in the future, make it a more welcoming option for customers around the world. Up until that point, the A380 was selling incredibly slowly and as we know, did continue for years to come. And it could have been classed as a failure throughout. This is something that's been discussed here on the channel on multiple different occasions. Anyway, let's get more into why Airbus launched the A380+. Plus. There are multiple reasons, and we'll begin with other changes that the A380 Plus had in comparison to the A380-800. And that was first of all an adjusted cabin that would further enhance the capacity. The jet would be able to seat an extra 80 passengers over the regular A380-800. Adding extra seat capacity was another additional reason why they looked to launch the type. Airbus as a manufacturer believed that by adding efficiency and also those extra seats, the jet would be a far more attractive option going forward and would grab more of the market that were looking for wide body aircraft on the long haul services. What were some other changes though that Airbus worked on with the A380 Plus to really differentiate it from the predecessor? Well, the aircraft was also going to burn 4% less fuel thanks to the adjusted winglets. These were designed to reduce drag overall and really look like the typical sharklet design that we see on the A320neo. Fuel efficiency was a big reason behind Airbus looking to launch an adjusted A380 aircraft. Customer feedback, as we know, always plays a crucial role in how aircraft manufacturers move forward with a sequel, if you will, to their original aircraft or really how they plan to update it moving forward. The A320 series, or offshoot to the A320 family, in my opinion, is truly the perfect example, as Airbus has assessed the market to further determine what type of variant is required through demand and efficiency going forward. This is why we've seen the likes of the A320LR, the A321 Airbus Cabin Flex, the A321X, and so many more. For an aircraft though that is as big as the A380, it is naturally hard to gather an idea on what is necessary to accumulate more orders, especially when your main customer is Emirates, who were really after a re-engined option, known to us all as the A380 and Neo. Instead, Airbus went with the A380+. Plus. However, with this global pandemic now occurring, and it being one that we couldn't really predict, there's a high chance that an A380neo, even if Airbus went along with it and Emirates ordered it, would not have gone to plan and probably would not have gone ahead. Airbus further saw improvements on their A380 Plus to the A380, with the jet saving airlines costs of some 13% per seat. In addition, the maximum takeoff weight was naturally increased, and, uh, and that allowed for the extra capacity in whichever said location the customer felt best. Ultimately, it was going to offer better operational performance and in addition economics. However, this would not go down as they first really imagined. While the aircraft type was never officially launched as in flying, no customer also ever placed an order for it and within a month, talks surrounding the A380 Plus kind of disappeared. Since 2017, we haven't heard much on the topic. There's been the odd chatter of Emirates wanting the A380neo, but I think at this point, or at least in this decade, it's pretty safe to say that quad jets or aircraft that big will not be a favoured type and something that airlines will be not looking for. In 20 years, we have no idea where the industry will take us. In 50 years as well. So these things could change, but the way the situation is right now, a quad jet is the last thing on airlines' minds. So to conclude, why did Airbus launch the A380 Plus or really reveal it to the world? For various reasons that I've mentioned in this video, they wanted a way to improve on the A380, which at the time was already struggling to accumulate orders, and it also become stagnant in the market. Offering an updated version with changes to capacity and also giving customers cost-saving measures was done in the hope that things would change order long-term wise. However, unfortunately, that did not go according to plan. But what I do hope is you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about why Airbus launched the A380+, Plus, what their thinking was, and also the various changes they made to the aircraft in order to make it more attractive to customers in the future. If you would like to see more videos like this, do not hesitate to let me know. As regarding news, as you've probably seen from the videos on the channel, it's dried up a bit in recent months. As with the global pandemic, it's pretty hard to find anything that is noteworthy enough to be covered. Thanks again, and I will see you next time.